The Hobbywing Fusion 1800 is out. In is the Hobbywing Axe R2 2100 KV. Take a look. Here's a 2100 KV 540L motor. Got plenty of room, can also fit the larger 3300 in it. This is a new RESC and it's got a 6 amp BC plus it's got a drive mode that you can actually drive forward, brake and reverse. So it's not crawler all the time, which is awesome for versatility. Uh, that 540 motor being the L doesn't really fit quite a few things like the Vanquish or the Capra. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer on that. Beautiful Vitavon axles. Got some brass on it, got some weight. Got the J Concepts landmines. Got some cheap wheels. Um, really super soft foams. 25 kg servo. Now let's power this thing up with a 3000 milliamp 3S and get it outside. Quite a bit more punchy. In second gear, it doesn't really like to hold on its own with the 1800. But anyway, we're going to do this anyway. Ooh. All right. Second gear. Ooh, a little noisier. All right. So the fusion is absolutely quieter, especially like in second gear. It holds a little easier too. Wow. But this absolutely has more punch for sure. Nice. Wow, so much more peppy. And that 3300 was the same way. That's awesome. So let's get a little bit of crawling action in. Obviously first gear. One thing for sure, the Fusion absolutely is quieter. That's for sure. But this, this has got the punch. We've got the X control we all like, that's for sure. And let's give it a good run across here. I just put the Gen 8 across this with the 3300, which <laughs> looks good as well. I don't recall the 3800 being as loud, but then again, that one doesn't really have a second gear. So it's kind of, you know, it may be. Wow. Found a rough spot there, didn't it? Yeah, you can definitely hear this motor. It definitely has a different, uh, I guess, pulse width modulation on it. The Fusion is whisper quiet. This one, you can hear it a little bit. <laughs> Very impressive punch. I gotta say. Now, of course, you guys realize the legendary beast has decided to join us. He's looking it down. He wants to attack. You gonna attack? 
or turn into a cat. <laughs> Got some crawl. Let's see how close I can get. Everybody whisper now. It's like golf. You gotta be real quiet so they can hit the ball. Oh no. Sam, where you going, buddy? <laughs> Let's really see what that punch has got. Wow! I'm gonna get that again. And let's see what we've got here. Now this has got that stock pinion gear on it, 11 tooth with a 45 tooth spur. So they can be geared up quite a bit. And I think the motor can handle it. Let's go play. Ooh. <laughs> now let's go try this thing out. Well, let's see what that second gear's got. Oh yeah, not a problem here. Guess we're gonna bash around on the dirt a little bit, see if I can heat this ESC up. Got that wire turned off so that it doesn't have a fan on it. So I guess we'll see how that works. One thing's for sure, I don't have to worry about breaking the axle housings. And the stock Traxxas ones are tough, but... Ow! The stock Traxxas ones are tough for sure, but... These Vitavons, yeah, they're just not going to give up. Oh. I'm really happy with the punch. Wow. Now that's just me being really trigger happy. Wow. Oh, that was nice. Oh, I'm stuck there. So let's have some more bashing good times. <laughs> oh, I kind of missed the ramp. Whoa, that was such a smooth landing. That was a little bit of my awesome suspension tuning, which is stock shocks and stock oil and a lot of tire absorption. <laughs> Wow, that was cool. <laughs> this system is awesome. 
Although it's a bit noisy compared to the Fusion, which is the quietest axe I've had, and the original axe is just about as quiet as that, but the Fusion, absolutely quiet. This motor packs a lot more punch. I mean, like, really, you sit in there, you go back, and you punch it forward, it just spins, uh, dare I say, castle power? This thing is impressive, guys. It really is. Um, the frequency that you can hear kind of makes me think of I'm getting electrocuted by a wall outlet, by just the sound of it and all that. But regardless, the thing drives pretty darn good. The axe system is there. The throttle matching is there. 6 amp BEC should run any servo out there, um, at least one. If you have two small servos, should be just fine with that. No issues here with this servo at all. So, hey, I got to tell you, I'm happy with it. And I'm going to be using it in other vehicles as well. So long as that L, that long can 540, which is basically a 550 in length, will fit. Um, I really wish they had a normal standard 540 size, just like this. That would actually fit, you know, a capper. Because I've got about, I don't know, six vehicles that use the capper transmission and capper belly that I can't use this motor in. So... Can't even use it in the Creep 6 because that's got the capper driveline, the capper motor, the capper transmission, and capper belly. So, yeah, got to figure something else out. But regardless, hey, it's a beautiful system. Absolutely is. So, in that description, I'm going to put a link to this. A-Main, eBay, Amazon, Red Cat, which they make that servo I'm using, uh, which is a rebrand. But anyway, um, I'll, I'll link up everything in there. There are affiliate links. Use those affiliate links to support the channel. If you already have your cart loaded, click on the link down there that says, uh, we need body clips. Every, everybody needs body clips, right? So click that, add the body clips to the cart and check out. That way you're sure that affiliate will work. So guys, check that description, use those links, make sure you're subscribed and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.